Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to HTZ. This is the Sox with Show Play this morning, the first thing I did out of the gate. And it's interesting because in the webinar yesterday that I did, someone was asking about, you know, getting out at the low of the day. I had a beautiful exit on this today, and I got out at the low of the day. Who would have known? The market actually ended up falling today. It hurts to not continue down and break a new low. It could have. It didn't. And I had a perfect exit in this end of the morning. I found in all the time I've been doing gaps, which is, you know, over five years now, that one of the reasons I like to trade gaps, and this is just my personality, is I do like things to move fast. I do like to make money quickly in the morning. Gaps tend to move very fast and quick in the morning. And I'd say 75, 80% of the moves do happen in the morning and sometimes the whole thing. Sometimes the whole move and the low of the day is set in the first half hour of the day in the morning. And Hertz is a good example of this. Actually, the first... 10 minutes of the day set the low of the day in this stock. It just so happened to be the target, which I knew exactly, and that's why I get out. So if you know the targets, uh, you can have very good exits at the appropriate time at what ends up being the low of the day. It's interesting, though, because this, this really could have continued further today, considering the market move today. It didn't, though. And even if it had, uh, it's just one of these things where you would have had to trade this afternoon to get it because the market fell late today. In any event, let's take a look at it. Here we go. Stock open. Tried to go higher, couldn't do it. And just hit it. Hit it immediately here. And this was aggressive. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt about it because uh, this was in an, in an area uh, where it may not have gone immediately. It might have, this might have failed and flipped over the high. But I just, I just had a feeling today on this. I liked it. I liked it. I just had a feeling. Anyways, broke, boo, 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 came all the way down immediately into the next reversal time and to the target. So there you have it. Great exit on HTZ. Boom. That's it. Out. And then here we have the daily chart. So, you know, dream target on this today I wasn't expecting. Uh, you know, I really was not expecting a dream target. So I took the first target. And when something goes to the first target right away, immediately, you've got two choices. Take half out, let the rest play out, or take the whole thing out and let it reset up. Because I didn't have high expectations for this to go to some crazy, crazy big number today. I did the right thing. And you've got to know what you're looking for. You have to know how good is the gap if you can play it aggressively to some crazy target or not, some dream target. I did not have expectations for this to go to a dream target today. So I took it at the target. In the reversal time, out. And a, a, a nice move here on HTZ, which could actually continue tomorrow because it did not today. Why didn't it today? Despite the fact the market sold off, who knows? It did not bring in up enough participants. It did not bring in enough sellers to get out of this. People may continue this down tomorrow simply because they will look at the market, look at what Hertz did today, and maybe they'll say, hmm, and they'll get out. Uh, the reason for the gap on this today was they just decided to change their earnings report date. They were supposed to report, I think, tomorrow. I think it was the 7th. And they decided not to. So weird reason for the gap, but valid all the same. And here we have it. Lots of volume in this today. Lots of volume in this this morning before the open. And really went to the secondary level of resistance. The first level of resistance I had for this, uh, it booped over a little bit in the morning, but I was still okay with it. But that was like it. And again, support and resistance are areas, and you got to be aware of that. And had a very uh, precise entry in this, hit it, did it, had the volume, got it on down, went right to the target, and those are good trades. If I could get every, t every stock I trade every morning on an immediate entry right down to the target by 9 45, 10 o'clock, that would be my dream, dream, dream world. Uh, you know, but everything sets up different every day, and that's why you have to learn every different play. And uh, you just got to know all the ways to enter the stocks and how to read the different levels in this. So nice move today here on Hertz. As far as the expectations, it met the requirements. Did not go to a dream target. Could have followed through tomorrow. And I'd be looking at, uh, I'm probably going to do something else tomorrow. But in fact, I know I'm going to do something else tomorrow. I already know what I'm doing tomorrow. But you could watch for this down in 2775, 2750-ish, 2740-ish, 2730-ish. $27, I mean, you know, I think $27 is a dream target on this tomorrow. I think $27.50 is very reasonable if this continues down tomorrow. And it has to break early, too. 
This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. If you'd like more information, the next Golden Gap class is this weekend, May 10th and 11th. From 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the class is online. You can take it anywhere in the world and because the class is online. Feel free to email me with more information to sign up at Melissa at the StockSwitch.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.